Here, I'm gonna show you three robust and simple ways to copy data between workbooks and make sure everything works afterwards. And the files in this tutorial come from a much longer and thorough tutorial that I've made, Five Tricks to Copy Excel Data to Other Workbooks. It's a great tutorial. I'll put a link to it below this video if you're interested in that. But here, let's keep it simple. Three methods. First one, easy one, copy, paste. Select your data, hit Control C, go to a new workbook, and Control V to paste it in. And that's the one most people are going to use. The problem is that there are sneaky formulas and functions in a lot of the data. Now this one is simple, but when there are complex ones, they can link to data that we don't realize is linked to. And then when we copy it in the new workbook, it can be pointing to the old workbook and it can cause a tangled mess. So you need to be careful, only copy and paste data if you know what's in it. I can't tell you how many times I have done that only later to realize that there was something inside of this that messed everything up in the new workbook. Now there's one scenario where you can safely copy all of your data over if all you want is the visible data. So let's say that you don't know what's in here and you don't care. All you want to do is get the visible data, control C, then we go to the other workbook or other worksheet, wherever you are. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Select where you want it and hit Alt E S V enter. That is copy paste special values. There are no formulas here now, only the values that you saw in the other worksheet. That's a very safe way to copy the data. But now let's move to method number two. So copying and pasting the data, it can work but you get little issues here and there occasionally that take a very long time to troubleshoot. So let's make our life a little bit easier. This next tip is move the entire worksheet. So here, if we copy and paste everything, this is not going to link to this data correctly. And the way around that is to right click this and go to move or copy. Then we select the workbook where we want to move it. Let's put it in the destination workbook. So these are open workbooks. You must have the other workbook already open or click new book. And then we're going to choose the worksheet that we'd like to put the new one in front of or move it to the end. And do we want to copy or not? So if I click create a copy, this worksheet will be copied to the other workbook, but this one will still be here. If I uncheck it, we will completely remove this worksheet from this workbook and put it into the other one. For now, let's just create a copy, hit OK. And now we've got it over here. Let's make sure it works. Perfect. Now, the reason that a lot of people don't use this method, which is a really great method, is because oftentimes there's a lot of extra stuff in the worksheet that they don't need there. But I'm here to tell you that it is usually much easier to copy everything and then delete data from here and here and wherever it is, but maintain important links that we may or may not understand until it's too late. It's much easier to do that, to remove the extra stuff than it is to copy and paste in everything that we need while maintaining the correct connections. Try copy pasting charts with their source data. You're gonna run into a lot of issues. So for method two and also essentially method three, copy everything, remove what you don't need, it's gonna be much easier. For instance, you might have a lot of custom formatting on this chart. Redoing it with just a subset of this data that you copied into a new workbook, it's not so fun and it can take a lot of extra time. So let's go to the third method now, which basically mirrors this one, but on a larger scale. And for that, we're going to look at this lovely pivot table setup. So here we have slicers and a pivot chart, and here's the pivot table, and here is the raw data. It's a lot of stuff. And I deal a lot with this topic in my full VBA course where I pretty much show you how to export everything every kind of way that you would want. So we have to deal with a lot of these topics, but with VBA. And the problem is that if you want to just copy some of this to a new workbook, you're gonna have issues because behind all of these beautiful visual elements, there's other data in the background that was created to run everything efficiently. And if you just copy this into a new workbook, you basically break connections or you have it connected to the other workbook. It is a nightmare. So what do we do? I want you to go to the file on your computer and copy it. Control C, Control V. Now you have a new file, use that file. 
open that file up, and then cut out what you don't want. That will ensure that all the links are maintained, and that's the safest way to get the data that you want into a new workbook. And those are my three tips. Copy and paste if you know what you're copying and pasting, or it's very simple stuff. Or use copy-paste special values. Copy or move an entire worksheet, and then cut what you don't want out of that. Or copy and paste an entire workbook to create a new workbook, and then cut what you don't want out of that. It's safe, it's robust, and it's pretty darn easy to use either of these three methods. Now, if you'd like more tips for Excel, check out my full courses, including my VBA course that'll really help you automate Excel. And I've got links to those below this video. And if you're lucky, you might even catch it during a discount.